So T-bars is a pretty common way to go to upgrade from a worm drive clamp. And the reason is you can kind of you know, get a little bit more torque, if you will, to really seal that hose onto a surface. But there are some downsides to T-bar clamps. One is because you now are using a nut and a wrench, it's actually possible to over torque these to the point where you can actually kind of cause damage to the pipe, especially if you're like from out of the intercooler piping is aluminum. You can actually kind of get that to buckle a little bit bit potentially if you get really wild with the with the wrench tightening this down. The other slight problem with these is that because it's a it's basically a bolt and a nut that's threaded, the range of adjustment on these is not very good. There's a lot of different sizes and you gotta you know do the measurements, make sure you get the right size. And if you're even just a little bit off, like you don't account for the thickness of the hose when you're doing the measurement on the pipe that you gotta put them on, sometimes you either, you either can't get the T-bar clamp over the hose or you know it's you just can't get it tight. For a long time we put these on all of our cars, especially the race car, and then we ran into another interesting issue that you can run into with these T-bars, which is that you know even though you have this inner ring, and this is one this is actually one that caused a problem for us, you have this inner ring just slide over the hose, and that's great, but you can kind of see it, it is not smooth and round anymore. There's there's kind of some little bends in it. And this is what can happen with, with the shape of the T-bar the as, it, as it gets tight, especially if you're trying to like use this close to its maximum adjustment, is you can actually get a little bend in this. The problem that this, that this guy created for us actually was a boost leak. And uh, in smoke testing the car, we, we ended up finding it. This crease in, in this inner, basically in, in the ring material, was, was not holding any tension on the hose just at that point. And so there was a little leak that was coming out of this T-bar. That's what set us off looking for a better solution to see if there was something something else that we could use that would not be not be maybe as prone to kind of having these little issues and be better for some of these applications. And that's where we found constant tension clamps. 